Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about reverse osmosis system for seawater reverse osmosis plant. In the RO stage salt in the raw water is removed by means of a special membrane filters. To make the separation process working, the osmotic pressure between brine, concentrate, and permeate, salt-reduced water, has to be overcome by means of a high-pressure feed pump. The reverse osmosis system consists RO trains. Each train consists of the following main components A, high-pressure pump with RO feed control valve, B, bank of pressure exchangers with LP flow control valve, C, booster pump with VFD for HP flow control, D, pressure vessels and RO elements, RO module, E, automatic valves and instrumentation. Pretreated water is passed through spiral wound or hollow fiber RO modules, where the osmotic pressure of the feed water salts is overcome by applying high pressure on feed solution with the aid of a high pressure pump. After overcoming the osmotic pressure, further applied pressure leads to the reverse osmosis process. The high-pressure feed pumps are sized using the required flow rate and operating pressure, and it deliver the pretreated water to the RO membranes at pressures required for membrane separation of the fresh water from the salts, which typically are 55 to 85 bars. The actual required feed pressure is site-specific and is mainly determined by the source water salinity, temperature, permeability of the selected, SWRO membranes and the configuration of the RO system. The RO membrane elements are installed in pressure vessels, which usually house seven elements per vessel. Pressure vessels with multi-port four ports and two and one half inches size are installed according to requirement. Multiple pressure vessels are arranged on support structures, racks, which form RO trains. Each RO train is typically designed to produce between 10% and 25% of the total amount of the membrane desalination product water flow. Each pressure vessel houses from 5 to 8 SWRO membrane elements. Most RO membrane systems are designed with 7 elements per vessel. Spiral wound modules, spiral wound membrane modules, are the most common type of module used for RO today. The major advantage of a spiral wound module is that the packing density is fairly high. In crossflow filtration, feed water passes tangentially over the membrane surface rather than perpendicularly to it. Water in some dissolved solids pass through the membrane while the majority of dissolved solids and some water do not pass through the membrane crossflow helps to minimize fouling or scaling of the RO membrane. Feed water is passed to the pressure vessel which contains seven RO element each element connected by interconnector. To make the system more energy efficient, the remaining high pressure of the brine is used to drive the PX pressure exchanger, which is feeding additional raw water to the membranes. The pressure difference between HP pump feed and PX feed is covered by a frequency-driven booster pump. Overview SWRO desalination plant process diagram, feed water for cartridge filter pass to RO membrane unit. Between HP feed pump and membrane system a control valve FCV1 is installed for protection of the membranes during startup of the fixed speed HP pumps and for control of the recovery rate, permeate output, in conjunction with the PX feed. RO process control, low pressure flow rate set by discharge flow control valve at brine ullet line by inlet LPPX flow meter set point. RO process control, 
high pressure px flow rate set by vfd booster pump with booster inlet flow meter ro process control permeate flow rate set by high pressure pump and membranes with fcv and hp outlet flow meter lp control valve does not directly affect membrane pressure system pressure determined by membrane condition feed temperature and feed salinity supply pressure changes cause lp flow rate changes to avoid change supply pressure should be maintained at constant valve between 2.3 to 2.6 bar px trademark lp out pressure must be maintained above minimum 1 bar to avoid cavitation Reverse Osmosis System Control Panel Graphics HMI Operator Control RO Unit from DCS System RO System Operation The plant operation parameters have to be adjusted to changing requirements and conditions. RO plants are usually operated at constant flow and recovery. Changes in membrane flux are compensated by adjusting the feed pressure. Decreasing temperature and increase in feed water salinity can be compensated by increasing the feed pressure. Once the maximum pressure is reached, a further decrease results in lower productivity. Thank you for watching this video.